Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so, today I'm hoping to do a background um, from a page in this book. So this is actually a PDF um, from, um, well it's actually a photo, but I've printed it out onto one of my own mixed media um, pages, um, paper. So it's um, from this Christmas colouring book and it was sent to me kindly by um, Anne from Pretty Pages 71 and we're going to do a buddy colour um, I think Wendy's joining us as well from Wendy's colouring uh, doing this page so I could have done it in this book but I wanted to use watercolour so that's why I printed it out so thanks for sending me it Anne and um, what I want to do is a background here watercolor background and just play about with some watercolors i think so i mean you don't have to do this because it's a self-contained image and i guess that's the background of the image but i just wanted to have a bit of a play so i thought do it on camera and if it comes out really badly then you probably not see this video but anyway um so i'm going to use this um masking fluid um so it's pebio drawing gum and I'm going to basically use these. Now these are, I think, masking fluid brushes. And then this was used before because you can see a little bit of masking fluid that's dried and still on it. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to... I hope this is okay. It's all frothed up. But anyway, I'm going to just mask out. When I say mask out, I mean put the masking fluid on this bit and I'm, I'm just going to go over the entire thing because I could just go around the edge of the circle shall I bring you in a little bit because that might help there we go so yeah I could just go along the edge but I just thought try to work a little bit quickly because it does dry quite quickly this fluid so hope you are all doing really well um, enjoying your colouring I remember I did use this quite some time ago so it's been ages since I've actually used this again and I just thought I'll use this again so this is going to prevent the watercolour from actually coming onto the image now like I say you could I mean you don't have to do a background on on these sort of pages because the image is in the circle bit but I just feel like it'll look better with a like some sort of background. I did think about using a stencil as well around here, you know, on the white space. But I just thought um, it might detract or um, sort of, yeah, detract from the picture and take your focus or the focal point away from the picture, which is not really what I want to do. So, um, I didn't do that then. Right, so that's my masking fluid, I think. I've probably coloured all the areas. And then I'm just trying to take this masking fluid off. Just leave it in, leave it in the um, water there. Okay, so, that's it. So, what I'll do is I'll wait for this to dry and then I'll come back and we can play with some watercolours. Okay, so I'm back. I think the um, ma masking fluid dries really quickly so it should be okay to go. Now, the watercolours that I've decided to use, which I have not even used yet because I've got so many, are these metallic watercolour paints from Magic Fly. So these were um, a present. I think for my husband and um, yeah they I'm going to look at the swatch I've done and then 
can decide what colours. Now I'm hoping for cool colours in this background because I feel very cold and it's very wintry. So um, I'm probably going to go with the iridescent purple, metallic purple, multicolour multicolor turquoise, the metallic cyanine blue. So what... I think there's also, I think that's the iridescent purple, isn't it? And metallic black. I think I might even go with the metallic black because it looks a little bit bluish to me. So what I'm going to do is use this pipette and just put quite a lot of water down on those. And it's going to be quite watery, as you can tell. So I'm going to leave that on there for a little while. Now the thing is, um, this is such a big area, I'm going to actually use this craft sheet because I'm a very messy person when it comes to colouring and all that sort of stuff. So I've got that there. And um, what my plan is... Well, there's not much of a plan, but anyway, um, I have got this water spray here. Now, I should have really used actual watercolour paper because I think it would have taken it better. But I've got this um, Distress Spray um, water spray bottle, which I'm going to spray here. And then I'm just going to sort of, hopefully, take a little bit. Now, I've got a very, very big brush, as you can see, this one. Um, and then I'm going to need actually a smaller brush, but something that's not too small either. I don't really have many bigger watercolour brushes, so I should really buy some. This one looks relatively large, so yeah. So I think I'll use this. don't actually know where this is from, but anyway. I think it's, uh, I think the writing's come off, but anyway. So, what I'm going to do is spray this just around, get it nice and wet. So this is going to crinkle a fair bit, but it'll be fine, hopefully. Right, it can take it better than Amazon paper, let's just put it that way. And then what I'm going to do is, um, got some water here on the side, take a bit of the colours and just play basically have fun um, I wanted to do this for quite a while actually but this is a palette that um, I can really have a lot of fun with because I'm not worried about colours um, running out and things because I've got loads of metallic colours. So, yeah. I want it to have a sort of a mottled look. And you can see the paper's curling right now. So I could have used that. I actually have some, I think. You know, the watercolour tape. Um, so I'm dabbing really, but... See the water's already um the water is already drying up. I do like this blue, very nice. It's a really nice colours in this palette actually for um there we go, so more um, over here and then a bit of green again here thought I was going to use my big brush but actually I don't think I need it yeah this um, I'm liking the colours in this magic fly set, lovely colours. Uh, let's go with a little bit of lightish blue there. 
I just think it gives it a really nice look watercolour and now I'm going to go for the black just on the edges I don't know it looks a bit harsh but harsh at the moment but we'll see As I say, most of the stuff I do is um, a little bit of an experiment. Right, let's just get a bit of that purple in here so it's transitioning a little bit better. That's fine. I bet it looks horrendous at the moment on camera, but my pieces go through a horrendous stage and then uh, let's get some blue in here there and then a bit more water to blend it in I guess come on paper you can take it yeah I should have used thicker watercolour paper but I'd already printed this out and I didn't want to um, I'm not going to go black all the way, I think. Um, because I'm hoping to add other things to this. Actually, let's add a little bit, little bit of black here at the bottom. There we go. It does look nice. We don't want just black on one side of the page. It's got to be some sort of symmetry. just put some fish fingers on in the oven some fish finger sandwich um, for lunch and um, yeah it's just quick and easy so I need to make sure that I don't forget I just thought I'd quickly do this bit and then um, pause the video and then come back after lunch to finish this off there we go ok now that looks ok to me I just stood up to have a look at it um, I think it looks alright we'll see anyway so I'm going to come off camera and just going to dry that with my heat gun and then I'll come back and hopefully be ready for the next stage so see you in a bit okay so this is how my page is looking at the moment so I did dry it with the heat gun and um, I think it's pretty much dry now and uh, I think it looks really nice um, I like the effect and um, yes yeah, so I used the wet on wet technique I forgot to say that when I added the um, metallic watercolour paints from Magic Fly on here and then let them sort of spread and helped it along with my brush and then just dried it so it's really simple and so now I thought what I'd do now it might all go horribly wrong but we'll just do what we can I thought I'd use some brush oil because I haven't used brush oil for quite a while so these are um, they basically, is it powder form of watercolour or something like that? Um, I think it's something like that anyway. doesn't really tell me here, but yeah, um, yeah, I think it is anyway. I think it's just concentrated watercolour powder, something like that. So anyway what am I thinking of doing I'm thinking of like what colors am I thinking of using well I presume that I'm going to use the cooler colors because keeping in with the winter for um, theme so I've got a bit of purple there um, might use turquoise unfortunately in this set they sent me two leaf greens um, so I think I'm missing a certain colour but I've got ultramarine 
Um, so I could use that now I've got black as well but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that but I've taken it out and so now I need to think about how I'm going to add it so I'm actually going to add it using this just it's a cheap brush that I got with something I can't even remember what what it was with but um, let's start with the blue now some people in fact doing i have actually put a little tiny hole there so i hope it works so we'll see anyway so i'll bring you in a little bit and so i don't need to worry too much about this because hopefully the the um, masking fluid has taken care and protected my image so again i've got my um my um sprayer and i'm just gonna pop some of this on you can see some of it's there or maybe I should like spray it on first like the thing the powder come on you know you want to come out I was going to use the brush to get it out but yeah I think that bit's better if you do it like that I think the powder first is better oh well I am experimenting here and it's quite fun so turquoise let's put a bit of that on this side Now, I don't think I'd do this in a book unless the paper was very, very thick and it was one-sided as well. Um, so this is why I really like using doing PDFs now and again because they just give you that ability to, um, you know, do things that you wouldn't normally do. I think, was that purple I used? I can't even remember. Finding it a bit difficult to get this powder out though, so I'm just going to spray that here and I'm actually going to put, not spray, a bit of black here and maybe if I, I'm on camera it might help. There's definitely a hole in there, in the lid, but let's see what we've got then. Right. I like how the the one of the colours is working, but I don't know about the rest of what's going on with that. Um, and maybe a bit of black here. Just on the side. Because the paper is very wet now, but... I think I'm going to stop spraying now and just leave that. So I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm just going to come out and show you what a mess it looks. But hopefully uh, it will be fine once I dry it. So I'm going to dry it now with my heat gun. So come off camera and I'll dry it. And then hopefully I can show you what it looks like. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is my... It's not completely, completely dry, but it's mostly dry. And so what I've started to do is take the, let's bring you in a little bit there so you can see a bit better, um, is taking this masking tape, well, I keep calling it max, masking tape, it's not, it's masking fluid. Right, so masking fluid off. And you can see what it looks like underneath. I've got to be careful when I'm doing this. Just rub it off. There might be another technique to do it, but this is how I've, usually done it so it's quite satisfying doing this I have to say definitely um, quite satisfying <laughs> um, just making sure everything's taken off so yeah um, I've quite enjoyed doing this actually the um, paper looks okay underneath you know and I'm hoping to use coloured actually I might use watercolour pencils um, or possibly even ink tents on um, the actual image because I might as well make use of the fact that I can use watercolour on this paper Um, so yeah, put that in there, right, 
So yeah, I think I'm going to use my Ink Tense or Albert Textura watercolour pencils. Possibly even the um, museums, maybe. Don't, I haven't used them for a while. It's always nice to use a variety. Right, okay. Let's um, take all this stuff off. Oh, there's a little bit there. Just wants to stay on. All this mess in here. Oops, right, okay, so still a little bit on here, little bits and bobs, so I'll uh, get rid of that. Make sure everything is off. Um, and use a brush. I've got a brush use it like a makeup brush not that I wear much makeup so it's useful for this right so basically that's it um, that's my background and I guess you could I mean it does require um, a fair use of water um, so you do really need good quality thicker paper to be able to um, do a background like this but um, I really like the effect I think it looks very shiny and bright just how I like it so yeah I hope that was a useful um, little background video um, like I say I'm hoping to do at least once a month of um, you know possible backgrounds. I might do another background video probably in a colouring book if I get the chance um, during December. Um, okay so um, yeah thank you for watching especially if you reach the end of the video and until next time take care happy colouring bye